In the mystical world of Taris Land, where magic and ancient legends intertwined, lived a swordsman named Magridi. He was a direct descendant of the legendary dragon slayer Shimotsuki Ryuma, whose tales of bravery and heroism were etched in the annals of history. Magridi had trained his entire life for a singular purpose, to slay the fearsome dragon Ensidor, a creature whose name struck fear into the hearts of all who heard it. Ensidor, a colossal dragon with scales as black as the night sky and eyes that burned with an eerie crimson glow, had terrorized Taras Land for centuries. Villages were razed and countless lives were lost to its fiery wrath. The people of Taras Land lived in perpetual fear, hoping and praying for a hero to emerge and free them from this scourge. The skies over Taras Land darkened as a fierce storm rolled in, lightning cracking across the heavens and thunder booming like the roar of an ancient beast. Sheets of rain lashed the rugged landscape, turning paths into rivers of mud and obscuring the way forward. In the midst of this tempest, a lone figure trudged onward, undeterred by the fury of nature around him. Magridi pressed on, his mind focused on the mission ahead. Memories of the scorched villages and the terror in the eyes of the survivors fueled his resolve. He couldn't allow Ensidor to continue its reign of destruction. The path became steeper and more treacherous as he ascended into the mountains, the storm growing more intense with every step. Navigating the rocky terrain was a test of endurance and skill. Lightning illuminated jagged cliffs and hidden crevices, momentarily revealing the treacherous path ahead. Magridi used these fleeting glimpses to find his way, each flash of light a reminder of the danger he faced. The rain soaked him to the bone, but he paid it no mind. His focus was unyielding. Hours passed, the storm showing no signs of abating. Magridi's muscles ached and his breath came in ragged gasps. Yet, he pushed forward, driven by the knowledge that each step brought him closer to Ensidor's lair. The air grew colder and the scent of sulfur began to mix with the rain, a sign that he was nearing his destination. Finally, through the torrential downpour, Magridi spotted a faint, ominous glow in the distance. The entrance to Ensidor's lair, a massive cave mouth illuminated by the eerie light of the dragon's fiery breath, loomed ahead. The storm seemed to rage even harder, as if nature itself sought to deter him from his goal. But Magridi was undeterred. Summoning the last of his strength, he pressed on toward the cavern. The ground trembled with each step as if the dragon sensed his approach. Lightning split the sky one final time, casting Magridi's determined silhouette against the maw of the cave. With a deep breath, Magridi stepped into the darkness of Ensidor's lair, the storm's fury fading behind him. Now, it was time to face the true tempest, the battle against the dragon that awaited within. Ensidor, a colossal dragon with scales as black as the night sky and eyes that burned with an eerie crimson glow, had terrorized Taras Land for centuries. Villages were razed and countless lives were lost to its fiery wrath. The people of Taras Land lived in perpetual fear, hoping and praying for a hero to emerge and free them from this scourge. Ensidor's eyes snapped open, glowing like molten lava in the darkness. The dragon's voice echoed through the cavern 
a deep, rumbling growl that seemed to shake the very earth. Who dares disturb my slumber? Speak, mortal, before I turn you to ash. I am Magridi, descendant of Shimotsuki Rayuma. I have come to end your reign of terror, Ensidor. Mwahahahaha. <laughs> Ryuma's bloodline, you say? How amusing. Do you think you can succeed where so many others have failed? I carry the dragon's fang, forged to slay creatures like you. Your time has come, Ensidor. Brave words, little swordsman. But bravery alone will not save you. Then face your destiny and let it be your doom. Your tyranny ends today, Ensidor. Target.
Done. Taurus land is free. 